Today in the Toyverse, I look at the NECA AMC Preacher Cassidy figure. Now, I was introduced to Preacher back in 97 in the pages of Wizard Magazine. Kudos to you if you remember Wizard. Now, was Preacher a comic, excuse me, that I should have been reading as a little kid? Probably not, but I did, and I liked it. Um, I believe this is the second uh, Cassidy figure that we've gotten. The first being from the DC Direct line. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe it was DC Direct that did that. So, to have another Cassidy figure is probably long overdue for Preacher fans. This one, obviously, based on the AMC show, which I happen to love. So, let's bring it in a little more and see what NECA has done with this action figure, shall we? And bringing this bad boy in a little closer. As you can see, the sculpt on this thing's fantastic. NECA, who, I mean, if you're watching this video, you know, NECA always does amazing work. And it really shines here. And for the price point they offer their action figures for, it's more than a bargain. It's a still, in my humble opinion. But as for the face here, I think it definitely looks like the actor. Um, I love the expression he has going on. It would have been nice to have an alternate head for him, but it's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Nice sculpted hair. I mean, the paint is done fantastic on this thing. You got a nice wash in the jacket. The flannel's painted very nicely. The tattoos really stand out on this thing. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But there is some may uh, some excuse me amazing tattoo work on this figure, and I really appreciate that. To be quite honest with you, um, the jeans have a nice wash on them. They look like jeans, which is always nice. And let's get the camera to work with me. And then you have his shoes down here, also done fantastic. So you know, sculpt and paint. You can't find this in a $20 figure pretty much anywhere else. So, you know, NECA always delivers that quality and that satisfaction, in my opinion. That's just mine. So, I'm really digging this thing here. Um, it looks like I got some paint issues on the top of my head. And here I am seeing the praises of NECA and I got that going on. Or is that part of the sculpt? It might be part of the sculpt. I'm not 100% sure. So... Enough about sculpting, let's go ahead and talk articulation. In terms of the head, old Cassidy here can go side to side, like that, do the exorcist thing. Uh, can look up a little bit, but can look down a lot more. In terms of the upper body, he does have a diaphragm joint, but it is covered by the clothing, so the articulation is there. But it's a little limiting, but you do get some action out of it. It's not static by any means. So it can go back that much and go forward that much. Um, as for the arms, they go out that much, go down that much, spin all the way around. No bicep cut. Uh, you do have a hinge at the elbow that gives you about 90 degrees. Maybe a little less, but it spins in and out like that. And he's got the ball peg in the hand here that gets side to side, up and down, and twisty all the way around. Excuse me. And in terms of the lower body, we do got a waist cut right here, which is nice. We also have splits, because when your Irish vampire needs to do the splits, you go to NECA. Yeah! Um, you do have a ball peg here that gives you a cut for the jeans. So that's nice. A uh, hinge in the uh, knee, um, single jointed. Uh, some people might complain about that, but I mean, it's a personal preference. It works. As for the feet, they're on a ball peg system as well. You can go side to side, up and down, and you do get a little bit of ankle pivot on this thing, which is nice. So all in all, articulation, pretty good. Um, it goes along with the theme of the sculpt. I mean, is the articulation out of this world blow your mind? No, but it's very effective and will get the job done for just about any posing need you may have. 
So let's set the figure aside and let's look at some of his accessories, shall we? All right, here we are at accessories. So from left to right, we have the good book, which I believe is supposed to be like a Bible type thing. I'm not really uh, that familiar off the top of my head what it's actually supposed to be. It's been a long time since I've uh, watched the show. Um, the show was kind of a blur just to go off on a little sidebar here. Um, I did enjoy it, but I felt like I had to keep re-watching it. Um, and, you know, it is what it is, I guess. But the book is sculpted very nicely. If I turn it around here, you can see pages are all sculpted nicely. Nice paint applied. Then we get a set of fist hands. And let me bring in one of those fists. See if the camera will work with me. Sculpted and painted nice. He's got the tattoos on there, which I can appreciate. And uh, no Irish vampire would be complete without uh, stereotyping him as an alcoholic. We got a big bottle of booze and we got two beer bottles to go along with that. So plenty of drinking fun for our Irish vampire friend here. And remember, kids, if you're under 21, don't drink and drive. So that will do it in terms of accessories. Let's do a quick size comparison and call this video a day. All right, folks, here's the size comparison you have been asking. Yes, the demon child is on the left from Ash vs. Evil Dead. And on the far right of your screen, you have Jesse, also from Preacher and the main star. So these three blend in very nicely. Obviously, demon child is a lot shorter because he's a demon child. And uh, Jesse, I believe, is a little shorter than Cassidy. Yeah, yeah, yes he is. So, these three blend in very nicely. Check out the Jesse review. It will be coming soon. But they work very nice together in the 7-inch form. So that's going to do it for the review. Um, here's the weird thing about these action figures, in my opinion. It's a very niche market to begin with, Preacher. I It doesn't have the success of, say, like The Walking Dead... Or even Fear of the Walking Dead, you know, that McFarlane Toys does with their action figures. So I don't know if we're going to get more of these figures. I would like to, but I guess it all depends on how many consumers go out and buy them. Personally, yes, you should go out and pick up these figures because I think they're pretty phenomenal. And at a $20 price point, you can't beat that. So if you like it. If you like this review, definitely go get yourself some Preacher action. So, as always, thank you for the love and support. I appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That information is in the description below. Um, along with that, you can follow Undercover Capes on Twitter. And check out their uh, website. They do all things geekery from podcasts to reviews to interviews from marvel to dc to uh the indie scene uh, you want geek stuff that's the place to be and if you do toy photography please use the hashtag toy lover crew to feature your toy art thank you guys so much stay tuned at the end for the slideshow and until next time friends tally ho